Eric Rodebois, Five Minutes with Eric. I am an attorney in Miami-Dade, Florida, uh, one of the owners of EPGD Attorneys at Law. And what I wanna talk about is really two different things that overlap. So the first thing is official correspondence. So just as an aside, I've done videos in the past about spam that looks official. I'm not gonna talk about that here, but just be careful, don't fall for traps. They'll send you things that look official. It looks like there's a state seal, but if you look really close, it's like, some fake company. So don't just mail checks or send credit card information to strangers. The classic one is they want $60 for something that costs $2 if you go on the state website. Okay, so that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about though is when you get real official letters and the official letters generally refer to your company, your taxes, or your real estate. Okay, those are the main ones. Uh, I'm sure that there's others, but the idea is you're getting a letter from the IRS, that's about your taxes. You're getting a letter from the property appraiser that's here in Florida if you own real estate, or you're getting uh, any other official letters, like I said, companies, we might get letters from the state of Florida or from other agencies. So when you get these letters, don't ignore them. Part of your responsibility of being uh, an adult is to open the envelope and to see what it is. Now, it might be a scary letter from the IRS. It might even be certified mail. That means it's extra important that you open it. And the reason is this. A lot of these correspondents have deadlines built into them. And what basically happens is that the, the legislature, whether it's the uh, federal government for the IRS or the state government for the property appraiser's office or for uh, the companies, uh, corporations, basically, they have written laws that say that from the date of receiving these letters, certain deadlines start. So for example, there might be a 90-day letter from the IRS, or there might be a 30-day letter from the county property appraiser's office. And so if you miss these deadlines, it puts you in a much worse position. Now, sometimes there's an opportunity to overcome the deadline, to maybe make a good faith excuse, maybe you moved, maybe the post office didn't deliver the mail, whatever it is. But the point is now you're fighting an uphill battle. Whereas instead you get the letter, you open it up like a normal adult, checking their mail, you see, oh my goodness, I need to call a lawyer, you call the lawyer. Now, first thing I'm gonna ask is, please send me a copy of that letter. So if you can, scan the letter. Now, worst case scenario, you can do the, um, you can put it, uh, take a picture with your phone. Okay, it's better than nothing. Now I've got the letter, I'm the lawyer, and I can look up the statutes and I can be like, ooh, okay, we got 15 days on this one, we got 30 days on this one. Okay, so now let me tell you where this really applies. So in the state of Florida, we don't have income tax here, which means the entire state budget is done on sales tax, hotels, restaurants, tourists, and our local budgets are done mostly on property taxes, which means that the landlords, the homeowners, the business owners, the landowners have to pay taxes, right? And so one of the benefits they give us in Florida is the homestead. And the homestead means that if you're living in property, whether it's a condo, whether it's a house, whatever, and that's your primary residence, you're entitled to a deduction in your taxes, a cap on how much your taxes can go up year over year. So even if your neighborhood is going up real fast and all your neighbors are moving in and renovating, if you're living in the little old house on the block, your property taxes are gonna be capped going up year over year so that you can't get priced out of your own neighborhood, right? It's actually a good idea. And then whoever buys your house, their property taxes are gonna get readjusted to where they live then. So what happens is every year you're gonna get letters from the property appraisal office. You're gonna get one in January, you get one in September. The one in January is for you to confirm that it's your homestead as of January 1st. It's a very black and white rule. So if you move into your place on January 2nd, then technically it wasn't your homestead on January 1st. If you move into your place on December 31st, then it was your homestead on January 1st. And so that is gonna get you the homestead then later on in September, you're gonna get another letter that's gonna be the adjustment for your property taxes, and they're gonna tell you what you owe. Now, if you have a problem or an issue with either of those, you have to act fast. So what I don't want you to do is call me in April to talk about your homestead, because that needed to be handled in January, and I don't want you to call me in December to talk about your home assessment, because that needed to be handled in September. So guys, when you're getting these letters in the mail, you need to open them and you need to address them. I had a guy today, letter from the IRS. Uh, it was dated August 3rd. When'd you get it? August 7th. What did you do between now and then? And just in case you guys are watching this at a later date, it's November 16th right now. So he's been sitting on this letter for three months. You know, time flies. But the fact of the matter is, ball was rolling. The IRS went and they seized the $30,000 bank account because he didn't do anything. If he had called me the day or the day after, okay, great, now I can do stuff then, right? I can get in, get in front of the IRS, get a hold on collection activity, so again, guys, the date of your letters is important. The correspondence is important. And what I want you to do is don't ignore them. You gotta act like an adult 
and especially the homestead stuff because now we're dealing with Florida state statutes. They're very particular and the penalties for getting it wrong are huge, which I'll talk about in later videos. Thanks guys.